Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions. So welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday and uh, referring back to the overall idea of you guys and DGAS and a series of other ETNs getting delisted, uh, one of the most common questions that I received in the comments section that I have not yet covered uh, is the overall idea of if you're still holding any of these specific shares for UGAS, DGAS, TVIX, or any of the specific ETNs that on, if I'm not mistaken, on June 22nd announced that they were going to get delisted. First of all, I do already have a video talking about delisting and every time that there is a delisting notice, it's normally not the best news, right? When it comes down to it getting delisted, it pretty much means that it's going to be removed from its major exchange. In this example, it's going to be the NASDAQ, right? So this is up until July 2nd that I think that the actual delisting happens for the ETN UGAS and DGAS. I'm going to place the article down below. Please, do yourself a favor and if you want to learn more about it straight from the source that's going to be that first link down below but i want to give you a perfect example let's keep this video short and sweet so when it talks about getting delisted it pretty much means that it's going to be removed from the nasdaq exchange right so if you have Robinhood, if you have td ameritrade one of the things that you should be aware of is first of all i've, I've tried to preach this so many times when it comes down to these ETNs, especially these triple leveraged ETNs, I don't know how many times I could repeat something until it kind of just sticks. And I think we just have to learn from our experience and let me know in the comment section if you guys agree. But they come at a great form of risk and with great opportunity comes great responsibility. And risk management should always be top priority. I don't care if you're an investor, I don't care if you're a day trader, especially when it comes down to getting into riskier day trades. This is why I've always tried to empower and encourage our viewers to practice risk management. Now, although it sounds funny, this could be a perfect example because if you're asking, hey, what's gonna happen to my UGAS position? It's most likely, I mean, UGAS has been on a very bearish run and DGAS has been on a very bullish run. So if you're still holding UGAS, I'm only going to assume that you are down, right? That you've been bag holding. And although I've been in similar shoes, right? It's we've, we've all been there when it comes down to bag holding. The only way we can make consistent progress is if you actually learn from your mistake. So to ask the secret question of, hey, is you guys going to recover before the delisting on July 2nd? No one knows that answer. What you should ask yourself is, where is it that I'm going to cut losses or manage my risk? And this should always be top priority. And if you're already down a certain dollar amount, just again, learn from your experience. At least that's my takeaway when I've been put in very similar shoes. So let's say that it ends up closing at $9.50 when it comes down to you guys, right? Uh, D guys has been absolutely killing it. So if you're down on that position, I really don't know what to tell you since it's almost at 180 day highs, uh, but altogether it's probably not as bad as when it comes down to you guys. Uh, let's say when it comes down to being July 2nd, uh, you guys and D guys and all those specific ETNs get delisted. What happens to your account is you can't buy any more of those shares. It pretty much just gets removed from the major exchange, especially if you're using Robinhood. Uh, they only work with major exchanges. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't used Robinhood in quite a while. Uh, but when it comes down to your shares, all you can then do is sell. And if the platform does not allow you to sell, I would encourage you to reach out to your brokerage and to ask for assistance. That's the easiest way for me to put it. But would I be someone that would wait until July 2nd, which is the date that it's supposed to be effective uh, for the overall delisting to sell my position? That's up to you, right? Like we've said so many times before, we're not here to tell you where to buy. We're not here to tell you what to, where to sell. Every single time that you're about to take a position, every single time that you're about to take a trade because of what you see for there to be uh, for the overall upside opportunity, you need to, you, I can't stress this enough, you need to be someone that holds yourself accountable and that understands the risk involved behind every trade. If you're gonna make $100 profit, that's the profit potential. What's your potential for loss? How much are you willing to risk to make those $100? every single time because i can guarantee you that even if you got lucky and you walked away green by bag holding something big picture it's gonna eventually end up biting you in the butt and feel free to share your experience risk management it's the most overlooked best practice that not enough people practice and i i i, I mean this is a perfect example especially for those that have been bag holding any of these etns as we've repeated time after time that these are not something that you guys want to hold uh, just because of how consistent they are 
uh, when it comes down to decaying over time. So just a very simple example, let's say that you have 10 shares at $9.50. Um, you'll see that you still have the 10 shares available on your account, but the only option that you will have available is to sell them. And if your brokerage uh, or your platform on your application uh, does not allow you, uh, I would reach out to your brokerage and even maybe even do this in advance, just so you have a full understanding and you are fully prepared up into that delisting because I could only imagine that they would get, get flooded with those FAQs leading up to that point. So just make sure that you do yourself a favor, get informed, prepare yourself, right? Uh, and just make sure that your actions today are something that can benefit you in the future. So quick little overall recap on the day. Uh, yesterday I had nearly a thousand dollar day uh, trading TQs, SQs and American Airlines. Uh, today was a little bit different. Just like I announced yesterday, uh, TQs and forward slash NQ, which is the NASDAQ future, what, uh, hit 180 day highs. So again, it was at overall highs on the 180 day chart. It was very overbought. It made sense that it could pull back, uh, ended up changing directions. And because of that change of directions, uh, the really cool thing uh, is that I was able to manage my risk accordingly. Uh, and my overall loss was this, right? I'm down a little bit over $100 on the day, uh, but in comparison to all the other days that I've had, uh, I'm really enjoying the overall idea of trading SQs and TQs. My, my two positive takeaways are it moves much slower than natural gas. So if you're someone that has been, been able to effectively trade you gas and degas, it just it's very easy to manage your risk just because it's not as volatile. Today, I do have to admit, it was a little bit more volatile than it normally is, uh, which was great. A lot of people walked away with a decent amount of profits, uh, but that quick change of direction just caught me off guard and I was a little preoccupied. I hit the gym and uh, I have two meetings that I have to catch in Scottsdale right now. So I just wanted to make sure that I made this video. So very excited. Uh, again, a goal is something to work towards. That's something that we have to hit every single day. Wanted to provide you guys with a quick little overall update and I'm excited to see what tomorrow has to offer. Just want to provide you guys with an explanation of what it means when it comes down to, you know, if you still are holding some shares of any of the ETNs that are getting delisted, um, all you're going to be able to do is simply sell them. Uh, so I hope that this overall video gets you one step closer to your overall goal. And if it did, we'd love to stay connected. Click that first link down below. Join our free Facebook group. We have over 280,000 members that are waiting to connect with you. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to get alerted when it is that we go live, turn on that post notification so you get alerted the next time it is that we go live. I appreciate you guys' time. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green now. Take it easy, team.